Imagine coming up with an idea to rescue a company from a financial crisis, only for it to backfire after some time in the future, leading to more financial losses. Well, that is exactly what happened to American Airlines in 1981 when they launched the unlimited travel pass to its travelers for the cost of $250,000. Welcome to Gemma Consultant, and in this video, we talk about the infamous A Air Pass and how a few people decided to take advantage of the unlimited flights they bought from the company. It all started in 1981 when the American airline company American Airlines was trying to recuperate themselves from the financial crisis they were going through. They had a loss of $76 million and were in dire straits. They needed some money to solve their problems and decided to launch the infamous a Air Pass for $250,000. The A Air Pass was like a platinum card for airline passengers. It gave holders the luxury of unlimited first class travel to any place in the world, as well as access to the premium offers of the airline, such as the VIP lounge and the coveted Admiral Club. The holders could also get a companion pass for an additional $150,000 and bring along a friend with them. So basically, an A Air Pass holder could travel any place in the world at any time till the end of their life for just an initial investment of $250,000. The whole travel fee would be taken care of if you were on holiday, and hence, you could go on world tours quickly. This is indeed an excellent investment, and that is precisely what a few people thought. A total of 6 to 6 people signed up for this program and got their unlimited passes for the initial membership fee. This includes the American baseball legend Willie Mays and Michael Estelle, the founder of Dell Technologies. However, two people among these 6 to 6 people stand out and could be deemed responsible for the future financial losses incurred by American Airlines, Steve Rostein and Jack Zerum. Both were flying enthusiasts and utilized this offer to so much extent. Rostein, a financial consultant from Chicago and a flying enthusiast, bought both the membership pass and the companion pass for close to $400,000 and traveled as much as he could. He would fly to meet friends, stay in different states, fly for holidays, and enjoy the premium first-class service offered. Rothstein had been traveling in American Airlines so many times that the cabin crew members started to recognize him and his preferences. It's even said that he once flew to Paris just for brunch. Wow! Later in 1998, the American Airlines CEO Robert Crandall sent him a letter in which he said, I'm delighted that you've enjoyed your A Air Pass investment. You can count on us to keep the company solid and to honor the deal far into the future. Boy, that did not age well. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. In the end, it's said that he traveled to New York almost 1,000 times and 100 times each for London, Australia, and Japan, and has an estimate of 10,000 flights travel. Seems like he really enjoyed this privilege that he had received and making the most out of it. Jacques Vroom, also not unlike Rothstein, went on flights a lot and even stayed in the location he had flown to only for a few hours before taking another flight back. He would also travel to watch his son's football matches or spend time with his family. Once he even flew to Washington, D.C. to get his dad to his house so that he could babysit his kids. It's said that he told one of the passengers on the plane that flying his father from Washington, D.C. to his home was cheaper and more profitable than paying a local teenager to do so. Well, you cannot argue with that, especially since he holds the unlimited travel pass issued by the company. These people had their companion pass and would often take their family or friends for worldwide tours. They also offered a first-class flight to random strangers through their companion pass at the last second. They also booked backup flights in case of an emergency and lousy weather and did not have to pay a single penny as cancellation charges. Their bookings were made by private agents arranged for them by the airline companies so they didn't have to rack their heads looking for flights during hectic times. The company slowly increased the price as the years went by until they offered the pass for $3 million in 2004, which nobody bought. I guess nobody found it as appealing as the 6 to 6 people did back in 1981 with the new price. Well, it was not really profitable either for the passengers, especially with the price being $3 million. Everything was going well and good for them until the airlines realized in 2007 that the expenses the two had brought forth were more than $1 million annually, both in taxes and fuel costs. Vroom had traveled more than 38 million miles, while Rothstein had traveled more than 30 million miles over the 16 years. Damn, those are really enormous figures for just two people. 
They're also probably the two of the most traveled people on airplanes. Another member of the past named Mike Joyce traveled back and forth to London 16 times in just a span of 25 days. The company also noted that the two users would cancel the booked flights at the last moment, which led to more losses for the airlines, as they could not accommodate any passengers. In short, the one idea that American Airlines had implemented 26 years ago to recover from a financial mess had only bought more financial problems and losses for the company. The two travelers had racked up more than $40 million together in flight charges. That is a lot of traveling. They realized they had to do something to solve this problem. In 2008, the company sent Steve Rothstein a letter in which they said that they had terminated his pass for fraudulent behavior in the name of speculative booking. It's noted that Rothstein would book a flight using the companion pass using a fake name to get more leg space during his flight or hold extra luggage. Rothstein, however, denied all the allegations against him and went to court against the company. His motion was dismissed in court and later on, the case was settled outside court and soon the company and Steve Rothstein parted ways. Similarly, a letter was handed to Jacques Vroom at Heathrow Airport in London, which said that his airline pass was terminated for fraudulent behavior. He was also accused of selling the seats that he had booked using the companion pass, which was considered a violation of the American Airlines rules. The company also tried to track down people Vroom had offered his seats to and whether he charged any money. Vroom also, like Steve Rothstein, denied the allegations that were leveled against him and tried to sue the company, but to no avail. It's always hard to do against a million-dollar company in court, especially an ordinary man. Jacques Vroom had accused the company of slander and foul play in targeting some of their members so that they could terminate their passes. But his motion failed in court and thus, Jacques Vroom pass was also terminated. Ever since then, a few other passengers' unlimited membership passes have also been revoked, while a few others still remain to hold the unlimited pass. This program has also been terminated. And nowadays, the company focuses on discounted rates of the fares of frequent flyers. It was the end of an era. Do you think that Steve Rothstein and Jacques Vroom were at the fault? They may have used the advantage they had received to their full extent, but you also have to realize that they had paid $250 for it. If you look at it with the inflated value, it will amount to almost $700,000 today. However, you could also say that they had abused the leeway they got and incurred huge losses for the company and it was only natural for the company to terminate their passes after a while. It's up to you to decide whether or not American Airlines could ethically hold on to its promise. So there you have it. An airline company going through a substantial financial crisis decided to offer unlimited travel passes to passengers at a one-time fee of $250,000. While things may have gone smoothly for the company for a while, two passengers eventually racked up considerable losses which led them to terminate their passes and end up in a brief court case against the two passengers. What a dramatic story involving luxury and betrayal. Truth is indeed stranger than fiction. If you found this video informative, make sure you check out our other videos, which you might encounter as interesting as this one. And until we see you again, goodbye.